Thank you. Uh, my name is Steve Martin. I'm a faculty member here in our department. It's a great pleasure to welcome our speaker who I'll introduce you to. Uh, but we have James to talk to give us our safety minute. So this is going to be a little bit different from most of the ones we've seen this semester. We've had lots of very specific and depth safety talks about different situations, different chemicals, different practices. Um, I'm going to do something slightly different and talk about something slightly more general. Um, safety in a teaching lab. Um, you're all grad students. You all know pretty well how to not die in the laboratory, right? Um, undergrads are an entirely different story. Um, I have helped teach a laboratory class a few times. I've got three semesters of solo lab TA under my belt. Um, and most of you won't do that. Some of you will TA a lab course. Some of you um, might even teach an own course. Um, but a lot of you might get, oh crap, we need someone to sub for one day. Guess what? You're teaching this course. Ready, set, go. Or I need help. Ready, set, go. So these are just a couple tips for keeping students uh, safe in the laboratory. Um, monkey see, monkey do. Um, the, the worst thing you can do in a teaching environment, working with students, is to tell them to do one thing and then yourself do something else. I know it sounds really dumb, really obvious, but you've all seen it at least one point in your lives. Like you've been in a course and they're like, you have to do all these safety things, and then the instructor just doesn't do that. If you don't do it, the students aren't going to do it either. Um, other other things that are nice, um, uh, if you have your own safety gear, this is a little thing, but most of you own your own safety glasses. Bring them to class. If you have your own safety glasses, then you're sending the message that safety glasses are so important, you spend five bucks on a pair. And that'll at least get students to wear the ones, bring their own, and wear the ones in court in, in the class. Um, also, know what you're supposed to do in the laboratory. Um, if someone asks you, hey, can you sub for this lab course for this one day, um, look up all the safety procedures that are involved, you know, if you don't know what to do in case of a chemical spill, make sure you do that before you're in a situation uh, where that can happen. Um, never let them forget anything. Um, if you're teaching a laboratory course, if you're part of an activity one day or a whole semester, um, what you should really do is hammer it, hammer it in. This is, this is not pretty, this is not polite. Just hammer it into them. Uh, make it an integral part of the exercise, um, uh, have it come up multiple times. Um, if someone's not doing what they're supposed to do, safety-wise, tell them. I know this is an obvious thing to say, but you'd be surprised how many people don't do that. Um, uh, ensure that students obey the spirit of the law, not just the letter. Um, you can get away with a lot of things, but if you know, well, yeah, that's what the rule says, but not actually going to stay safe, then do something about it. Um, and that's kind of cool to learn things, uh, so make them learn something. Uh, encourage them to be an active part, uh, an active part of the safety process. Um, if an activity comes up that's required by the laboratory exercise, but not outlined specifically in the laboratory exercise, encourage students to stop, look at the activity, them to identify how to them to uh, come up with safety procedures. Um, something, uh, something as simple as, oh, we need to cut something with a chop saw, and then they, they, they go up to do it and say, stop. And it's always a group of students. They always work in the box, right? Um, and say, you know, so-and-so, is this activity uh, uh, going appropriately? And then oftentimes they'll look at each other and say, well, you, Fred, are not wearing say sorry I this intro. Um, you're not wearing your safety glasses, or you know you should probably put on a lab coat before you handle all those dangerous chemicals. And getting them involved in not just obeying what they're told, but uh, coming up with the rules themselves is a good way to keep your students from not dying. Um, so that's it. It's not not complicated, not in depth. Just kind of a general overview of what you should do. 
uh, to keep uh, students safe in the laboratory. Well, thank you very much, James. Appreciate it.